right in your face. It's explosive with flavor. And it explodes right in your face. Another one. I'm your king, the whiskey king, and this is my jester. Oh! Season two. Oh! Woo! The king's new layer. Hell yeah! I know it's been a while. We appreciate you joining us again. We got something special for you today. Our buddy Rich from Long Island Spirits. Shout out to Rich. He hooked us up with uh, two new offerings that he has. First. It is a limited edition Rough Rider straight bourbon, oldest they have, and it's the Old Lion. Before we get into the details, the other one is a brand new release they have called Field and Sound. The concept with Long Island Spirits, they were founded in 2007, and it's out in Bading Hollow, New York. If you're on your way out east on the North Fork, it's like surrounded by the vineyards. They have the Long Island Sound not too far, so it has a nice maritime influence. They use all local grains, so you're getting the Long Island terroir of the area into the product. So it's a true farm to glass for Long Island. Why is it called an old wine? Well, just like the name Rough Rider, um, Rich had thought to give homage to Teddy Roosevelt with him being here on Long Island and Sagamore Hill, the Rough Riders uh, during the Spanish-American War and then having to settle in Montauk for a while. And they were like this pioneering group and Long Island Spirits is like a pioneering distillery. They have influence from Kentucky, but they do it in their own way to bring the Long Island terroir to the glass. The Old Lion comes in because Teddy was actually called Old Lion in his old age. It's coming in at uh, 126 proof, which is 63%. It's an eight year bourbon, 60% corn, 35% winter rye, and 5% malted barley. So without further ado, why don't we, uh, Jester, why don't we get into this? Oh shit, I think we lost them. Yo, yo. Yo, yo! Yo, I think he's out cold, man. Whoa, Teddy! In the flesh! Rough Rider Estate, welcome. This place is awesome. Might I offer you a drink of my finest? Kind of way ahead of you here. Take a sip. Ooh. She is exquisite, wouldn't you say? That is some of the finest whiskey I've ever had. Ooh, lends itself beautifully on the palate. Strong finish. It's got everything you want in a whiskey. Plus, the proofage is high. Smooth. I could not have said it better myself. Yo, yo. Ah, super itchy. Yo, 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 yo. What happened? Were you dreaming? Yeah, yeah. Sure. What happened? I was like drinking with Teddy Roosevelt. I felt like my chest for some reason. <laughs> was really itchy. Uh, were you ready to get it's into like this pour or what? an unattainable itch that I couldn't <laughs> stop. It was, oh, it was boy. Uh, I don't know what was up with it, you know? And, um, well, let's cheers it and get into it, right? Uh, Thanks again, Rich. So, Teddy, this yeah, one's yeah. for you. So I was actually nosing this before and I was taking some notes. And Rich. Yeah, yeah. For me, the immediate nose on this is like uh, a sweet spiciness like like a caramel black pepper berry definite thumbs up on that nose oh yeah easy oh easy. yeah and you know what's interesting for 126 proof sometimes when you get a pour and it's a much higher proof you could have an issue 
of the alcohol vapor kind of mess, oh, the the nose. messing up the nose. Yeah, but this doesn't have that at all. This is really nice. When we get into it, take a mm. Oh, there. wow. That's nice. Oh, yeah. 100% easy thumbs up on the palate. This is a very dangerous bottle. It's dangerous. It's really smooth for an eight-year really eight 126 proof. Crazy smooth. Think of your traditional bourbon, but different, with yeah. a unique Long Island terroir twist. What I mean is it's sweet and spicy. You get that winter rye coming through. Um, it is oaky, barrelly, caramel, vanilla, berry, sweet. Like I said, the little peppery and you get the spiciness from the rye. The finish is really long as well. Like this is a complete pour. Um, it's bold, it's it's right in your face, it's explosive with flavor. And it explodes right in your face. You get that um kind of the briny yeah, maritime exactly. influence. Yeah, you yeah. Know, instead of being high up in the mountains, but you still have the long island climb as well. So what do you think about the finish? He knocked it out of the park. Easy thumbs up on the finish Crushed as well. It. Now here's the real question, is this going to be a banger? The age that it's at, how it's drinking, how smooth it is for an 8 year. I've had some 12 or 13 year oh, yeah. whiskeys at this proof that burned out your palate and couldn't even taste anything. Absolute scorched earth. Combine the fact that he's making a unique product to bring farm to glass concept of Long Island at a good price. Yes, you know what I'm Yo, 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 yo! It's a burger! Oh, Frank! 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 <laughs> no, it really is. <laughs> Shit, we haven't done that in a while. Just as a little out of it. Yo. Teddy came through. Yeah. And the old lion. She is the rich, rich. And she is the Teddy, the old lion who it's named after. Right. Alright, so this is a bottle and bond whiskey. It is a bourbon. So again, it's a new release from Long Island Spirit. This is going to be a 60% corn, 33% rye, 7% malted barley. Shit. It's going to be 100 proof, bottle and bond, it means it's in a government bonded warehouse, aged the minimum for four years at 100 proof. Now where this comes about from Long Island Spirit is they're emphasizing the maritime influence, how it brings a subtle brininess into the whiskey um, with Long Island Terroir and their own twist from a Kentucky bourbon. A lot of his stuff is very affordable ah, and you should be able to find it at most places or again you could always go out and try it right at the distillery. They make yeah. cocktails. Take flight. They have live Sample. music. Oh yeah, yeah. live music. It's it, great. It's, it's right there on the water. It's beautiful scenery. Just it's usually got like a food truck and it was something growing something up, you know. Ooh, interesting notes. The yeah. other one definitely had a lot more going it's on. It's like floral though. Yeah, oh yeah, that because, one Just very, because it was so powerful. That powerful. for me was just incredible. Yeah, that, that was on another level, that smell. So this one for me, yeah, like flowery, briny, and fruity. Yeah, I'm getting some apricot in it. Like if I never whoa, really whoa, apricot. apricot again. Yeah, uh, but... It's not the strongest of nose. I'm still gonna give it a thumbs up. The, the price he was coming at with this, I think he did a great job. Oh wow. You really get the brininess on the back end, that like coastal. Yeah. The coastal maritime influence. It's like. It's no joke, it's really there. It's it's crazy. It's like, yeah. You, you get, taste but I'm getting like a little orangey apricot and then like the brininess. It's I'm getting smooth. a lot of vanilla shining through. Yeah. You get this for a very affordable price too, right? Um, yeah, I think this is a killer bottle for what it is. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up on the palette as well. We went from a 126 to a 100. Just so you know, I normally recommend you start, if you're doing a flight, start with the lighter first oh, yeah. and then go that, but we really wanted to start with the old line. The finish is is not super long, but it's long enough for me to give it a thumbs up. However, we're not gonna, I'm not calling this one a banger. No. But this is more of a value proposition. This is a great pour, a good example of Long Island Terroir at a economic value. Um, you should be seeing this on the shelves sometime soon. And here's the thing, you know, for you to make a whiskey stand out, you gotta do something different. And there's so much kind of mixed up in, with Kentucky juice at this point, and specifically MGP out of Indiana. Nothing against it, but like, 
you could start a distillery, buy whiskey from them, and just come up with your own label, and you don't even have to make it. So a lot of whiskey yeah, starts just tasting all the same. Similar. So what you really got to understand and, and, and value the art in the bottle is what Rich is doing at Long Island Spirit, that pioneering concept, like Rough Rider, Old Lion, all this stuff we were talking about earlier. The pioneering spirit of that in what he's putting in the juice and it really shows in whatever he's making. Now, we also visited the distillery. We did a whole tour with Rich. He is incredibly accommodating. If you go there, make sure you say the Whiskey King and the Jester sent you. Say hi to Rich for us. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, thanks again. In incredible. Yeah, yeah, man. Incredible. But they have a regular bourbon. They do a cast finished bourbon with a brandy cast. They do a really unique single malt, which is actually oh, a yeah. beer, like a stout beer converted into a whiskey, which is one of the most unique single malts you'll ever have. Very good. And um, he also has that bottle of the bond as well. Yeah, and they'll have a cherry smoke on one of them and a brandy. It's good stuff. We appreciate you joining us again. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Yeah. Hit the bell notification so you know when we got more coming out. Yeah. Yo, we're on Instagram, tell them where. Uh, Whiskey King Reviews, definitely leave comments, you know, interact with us. You know, tell us what you'd like to see or what, what you'd like us to review, you know. Till next time, everybody, juice, drink responsibly. Yeah.